welcome to another episode of the Mark and Mike Show. This time we're flying in my Mooney. Okay, so there's McGuire Lake. Okay. Right in front of us. And Mike and I are flying over places we would normally ride. I want to pick up a little more altitude just for some safety. Yeah. And I've flown up here a number of times trying to find the uh, riding area from the air and just haven't been able to spot it. So this time we actually put it into the GPS to uh, help us locate it because it's surprisingly hard. So you can see on the eight, that's where it's supposed to be. Okay. So basically dead ahead. We are flying northbound at the moment. But to me it seems... I'm going to turn the volume down on that because we don't need to listen to those guys now. Um, it seems to me like it, like it should be further from the lake though. So there's our road coming up, up to the lake. It looks paved. Yeah, it's got to be paved. Yeah. That's our, yeah, that's our road. Okay. As you see, over the Hot Lake, on your way. So we weave around a little bit, and then we head off in that direction, yeah. which makes sense. Right. And I think maybe the reason I can't find it, I think I'm always looking a little more over there. Right, because I'm watching the road. I'm trying to watch the road here, and... Well, it does disappear into the trees, doesn't it? Yeah. West of the Yacht Hill, Manure West Friday. Okay, so there's the bathroom. Oh, right there? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that the... That... There's cars there. Right. And that looks like the bathroom. I think it is. So there's our road. I can see it in the trees. Whatever. So that means we're past grassy flats already. Yeah. And so it should be right ahead of us on your side. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching. Our road cuts over quite a bit that way. To the right. I can see it coming back around. It's harder than it looks to find things from the air. Is that it? The little spot right there. Oh, yeah, there it is, right there. Right down there. Is that our? Yeah, I'm going to get a little further away so it's easier to see. Okay. Tell me if I'm screwing with your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. And as you're looking for something, you're constantly trying to maneuver the wing out of your view. Or is that it? No, no, I'm sure that's it back there because I recognize it. Okay. I think. Yeah, there's the gravel pile. Okay. And that little clearing down there is the uh, staging area you see in most of our videos. See the gravel pile that we uh, fell off last is that time? it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nobody's there. Because that's our warm-up road. <laughs> so then that must be the other staging area over there, do you suppose? Oh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the whip-up flat, the yeah. one they're going to close? Yeah. Where's the, uh, where's that, uh gravel pit we found that um oh maybe that's the they gravel might, that pit. they might turn it into a staging area i bet you that's the gravel pit that i'm looking at that looks like it yeah 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 so that's the gravel pit. so somebody's so, down there yeah so a little further uh south is going to be the uh the other staging area yeah this plane sucks when it comes to sightseeing because the wing is in the way yeah, right Northwest of Banks. Yeah, there's some guys riding down there. Cool. Yeah. Heading to And it's legal to fly lower than we're flying to make it easier to spot things, but it wouldn't be as safe. Wouldn't want to lose the motor here, that's for sure. No, we know these trails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would not be a good place to land, though. No, no, that'd be a little rough. You know, it's surprising how hard it is to spot trails, though. You know, like some of the roads that we like to drive on. Right. So let's see if we can find grassy flats. There's the Boy Scout camp. I'm going to leave it on your side of the... So it's got to be this hill up here. Well, if we find the uh, restroom again, we can tra track it from there. Yeah, I see the access road below us. And one of the things I really enjoy about flying is maneuvering the airplane like we're doing here. The clearing over here to the right. Okay, the bathroom is right below us. Okay, so we have to go further north then. 
So I think down here I recognize an intersection. Playing a little bit uncoordinated. Let me know if I start making you feel funny. <laughs> no, I'm doing good. Okay, I'm gonna come down here and then come around so you can look out your window. All right. I think it should be down there somewhere. What's I got that? a clearing down there. Is that the gravel pit? Is that, is that where you and I ride? Yeah, I think it is. Where we, I mean, we used to practice right there. Yeah. You can see the pile of rocks? Yeah, you can see the rocks. So that so that must be it right there then. Right there or that little tiny that clearing. That little chunk there? Here, I'll kind of come back around so yeah, I'm not yeah. making too sharp of a turn. And keep in mind the GoPro makes everything look further away than it is. Um, so we're actually a lot lower than it looks. And the things that we're looking at, we can see a lot better uh, than what you're seeing in the GoPro, which is why we're spotting things that you can't see. A little uncoordinated there, trying to... So that must be it right there. I think. So I see that, and then right below us is another... Uh, I think right in front of the wing, though, is right, where... Right there, that group of trees. Yeah. Yeah, that's right off the road. I can, I can see the road through the trees. Yeah. Ah, cool. So then the thing, sorry about uh, little g -Lo. This must be the hill that I like. Right at the top of that hill must be the trail that I really like, huh? This one here, you yeah. think? Yeah. And if you're watching this video on my channel, there's a good chance that you're a motorcycle rider. And I hope to post a video soon about how easy it is and inexpensive it is to fly because uh, it's not out of reach like most people think. Huh. Yeah, it's surprising how close it is to the lake, because it doesn't feel like it's that close, does it? Yeah, that's a windy road. <laughs> yeah. Flying's not cheap, but it's not a lot more expensive than other activities. Yeah, see, look at all those roads over there. Yeah, I wonder how we could dual sport up to those. And, and there's like a nice little river down there. In fact, I purchased this plane for about the same as a high-end touring motorcycle. There's a lot of dirt roads up here. Of course, you know, when you're riding them, it's no fun when they're all dead ends. Yeah. Well, my guess is those are all shut off for logging, so... Oh, I bet they are. Yeah, do you see any uh, recent logging or equipment or anything? No, but I saw a bunch of trucks over there. So this must be... Because, you know, a dual sport road... I think we were over here. There we are, crossing our wake. Uh, I'll spin around here so you can look out your window. But I think this gravel pit, or that's it, probably over there. The one that's over by the lake. Uh, you know, we used to ride around the lake. Right. Do you think of this one right here? Well, I think it's maybe, is it that one or is it this one over here? Closer to the lake. I'm going to really uncoordinate us. I don't think we've found this I gravel think, pit down yeah, here. Yeah, that one looks big. I don't remember seeing that one either. It's got a bulldozer down there, so it's active. Yeah. So there you have it, a fairly boring video of Mike and I looking for the uh, riding area from the air. Uh, it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, we really enjoyed this. We actually we actually did this uh, a few months ago. It took me a while to get this edited, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Well, at least we finally found it, huh? Yeah, that's kind of cool. We're too good, it took the fun out of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it helped having the right GPS coordinate. And I should add, we are flying in a 1961 Mooney M20, and we're flying in the coast range of Oregon over the uh, Nazteca OHV. Thanks for watching.